Now, something a little bit annoying that can happen with your aquarium. If you're getting a fair bit of algae in your aquarium and then you start to control your phosphate because controlling phosphate is the way to control your algae, you can find that as it starts to become effective and as you do start to control your phosphate, your algae actually increases. And that's because a lot of the time if your algae is very bad, your phosphate level might be say 10 parts per million. And that and at the really high levels, it can actually be high enough to disencourage the algae growth as well. And then as you reduce the phosphate level of your aquarium, then your algae can actually start to go even crazier. And that's all part of the actual process. The other thing is that as you do reduce the algae, uh, as you do reduce the phosphate level of the aquarium, then the types of algae will change too. So it's quite common to start with a yucky red slime, then go to a yucky green, then go to a light brown, then finally your algae should disappear. And the other thing about controlling algae via phosphate is that the sand and the rock will also tend to fill up with phosphate considering it's completely porous. So therefore you can go through what you initially think to be large amounts of phosphate remover to get the phosphate down and that's because you strip out the phosphate from the water then phosphate then leaches out of the rock you continue to leach phosphate out strip phosphate out of the water then the algae starts to die and as the algae starts to die it releases all its massive stores of phosphate as well then you have to strip that out of the water and then eventually you get to the point where you've got no phosphate or very little phosphate in the water and then at that point once you get to around zero at that point your algae will really start to die off so it'll quite often take from when you start using phosphate control you could start taking about three weeks before you even see any difference and then it can take another three weeks to really see a difference and then it can take another week, another three weeks until it's solved. So once again, phosphate control is really the key to algae. And there really is no excuse for not having phosphate control these days. And there's also no excuse for not feeding your fish anymore. Because a lot of people used to not feed their fish much. Because they believed that it would increase their phosphate, which is true. But with the quality of phosphate removers and the range of phosphate removers we've got now there really is no excuse for not feeding your fish well. You should feed your fish well, and you should control your phosphate. So water changes are going to help control it, depending. A biopellet reactor is going to help. Um, products such as um, Nopox or NPX from Red Sea is going to help, depending on the circumstance. Um, there's a product called Starva, which um, Majestic Aquarium sell, which is really really good um, Brightwell also have some great phosphate removing products and there's some good ferric iron phosphate removing products too such as Cephilophos, Phosban, all that sort of stuff Roophos, all very good products I'm not a big fan of aluminium based products just to throw that out there but anyway once again as I keep saying algae is not the problem phosphate is the problem and algae will go through phases and algae is more or less governed by phosphate so if you can put a little note down the bottom and tell us your spin on algae and phosphate and what you do to control it and works what works for you that would be great